Сука. Или по нам опять. А. А. Машина перевернула. А. А. Сука. Блядь, я... А. Да она ему все, вон. То ли добили они ее, то ли что, хуй знает, короче, непонятно. Вот. Там бак ебал, мы подойти не успели. Каску забрали только, нахуй, все, хла. Она горит. И как раз где сзади колесо. Тут. Вот. Его увезли, все нормально. Ну, дай бог. Я не поехал, у меня болит, все, нахуй, не могу. Вот, ребра, ребра плечо. Лок чапух нахуй. И где Ну я таракан, я выживу хуй. 100 грамм я живой нахуй, сам знаешь. Саню главное увезли, все. Меня искали, я не поехал. Спрятался. И Климу сказал, что тоже я не поеду никуда. Russians penetrate into the rear of the Ukrainian armed forces through underground tunnels. Russian troops are digging underground tunnels to penetrate behind the front lines in Ukraine and attack Ukrainian positions, Newsweek reports, citing a statement from the Russian Defense Ministry. According to a Russian department report on Telegram, Russian assault units in the Donetsk Oblast captured a major stronghold of the Ukrainian armed forces on the eastern outskirts of the village of Pivnichno using an underground tunnel. The detachment's servicemen secretly cleared and used a tunnel more than three kilometers long along the Seversky Donetsk Canal and reached the rear of the well-fortified stronghold with permanent firing points and underground shelters, the Defense Ministry said in a statement. After this, the Russians established a supply of ammunition, weapons and food for the assault troops through the tunnel. As noted by the Russian Defense Ministry, Russian troops using the element of surprise completely captured the stronghold, forcing the enemy to surrender or leave their positions and retreat. This tactic of the occupiers is not new. Ukrainian forces reported on the use of dug tunnels by the Russians back in the fall of last year during the battle for Avdiivka. They dig them in close proximity to our positions. Firstly, this helps with camouflage. Secondly, they can suddenly appear near our positions, the Ukrainian armed forces stated at the time. As for the Russians' tactics, our war is often compared to World War I. On the Avdiivka front, the Russians have started using the tactic of digging tunnels. Anton Gotsukon, spokesperson for the Marko Bezruchko 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade, said on national television in October 2023, they're digging them close to our positions. First, this aids with concealment. Secondly, they can then unexpectedly emerge close to our positions, said Kotsukon. Our defense officers have also spotted the Russians using robotic vehicles that serve as remote-controlled vehicles. They're used to deliver ammunition. These are some sort of special vehicles. They're quite big and they can carry a decent load, the spokesperson added. Putin's army in the Kharkiv region is in a resource trap. The Russian occupation army continues to storm the Kharkiv region but found itself in a disadvantageous situation. The forces and means of the enemy are not enough to conduct successful combat operations here. It is a resource trap, according to Osbo Revitel media outlet. At the same time, this is an ideal opportunity for the defense forces to significantly reduce the enemy's resources. Based on this logic, it is irrational to completely clear and close this direction now because the enemy is forced to withdraw his forces here from the priority eastern direction and suffer heavy losses. At the same time, the armed forces should concentrate not only on defense, but also on counter-offensive. The most vulnerable for the occupiers is the Crimean Peninsula, as well as the Kirsch Bridge, especially in a situation where Ukraine received a new package of effective weapons from Western partners. Therefore, part of the forces can be directed to the southern part of the front. This opinion was expressed in an interview with Oboz Revitel by instructor pilot, reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, military expert Roman Svitan. If our actions in the Kharkiv region lead to the fact that the Russians, who have fallen into a resource trap, will transfer reserves here from Donetsk, then perhaps this will become one of our main tasks. Then the enemy will have no mechanisms to press and advance in the east, 
He added, therefore, I would not say that the main task is to squeeze them out of this direction. In reality, we need to deploy the front line from Kharkiv Oblast to Belarus. The border with Russia should be the front line and should have been so for 10 years. The sooner we rebuild an additional front line, the better. Moreover, since we are in defense mode, it is more convenient for us to solve these issues. And the Russians must be forced to attack, because during an attack, the loss ratio is very high. Based on this logic, we should not squeeze them out, but destroy them. The more, the better. Recently, thanks to the increase in aid supplies from our partners, we can afford it in the Kharkiv direction, Roman Svitan said.